The delegate from Westmoreland, Delegate Ranson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a point of personal privilege. The delegate has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we've been hearing about it for some time now, discipline issues. One of the major reasons teachers are leaving the profession. And this week, we've seen story after story about it in the press. From the AP this morning, during a three-hour school board meeting dedicated solely to the public comment, Newport News teachers and parents said students who assaulted classmates and staff were routinely allowed to stay in the classroom with few consequences. They said the shooting of Abigail Zwarner, who had been, could have been prevented if not for a toxic environment in which teachers' concerns are systematically ignored. Jay Lark confirmed these whispers late last year. In their study, more than 56 of respondents to a Jay Lark survey said student behavior was a serious, serious problem. And another 24% said it was a serious problem. In the aftermath of the shooting at Rich Neck Elementary School, we're hearing from parents about serious discipline problems in our schools. The Washington Post reported earlier this week Many said the discipline at district schools had deteriorated, resulting in unsafe classrooms. And they noted that the shooting at Rich Neck Elementary School was the third in the district since fall of 2021. Several teachers said they were not supported when facing violence in the classroom or even attacks by students. And speakers repeatedly charged that the district cared more about keeping its official discipline statistics low than properly handling students who act out. Later in the same story, Mr. Speaker, a parent unloaded on the board over discipline issues. Board members, you have lost your way and you have lost our confidence, said Colleen Renthrope, who said she had two children in the district who are terrified during active shooter drills and who are forced to attend school where there is no real discipline of students who misbehave. WTKR reported earlier this week, it was just a matter of time before something like this happened. Teachers often joke about how students get sent to the office for discipline and they come back in 10 minutes later with a snack and a pat on the back. A Knollwood Meadows Elementary School teacher said, Mr. Speaker, we're working on legislation to address this problem. A bill is moving through the committee process that will instruct our Board of Education to enact common sense policies that will give teachers the support they finally need to handle discipline in the classroom. Every minute a teacher must stop to restore order in their classroom is a minute stolen from those students who, are, who aren't being disruptive. It's time stolen from those who are desperately trying to catch up from their time in virtual classrooms. And it's time stolen from teachers who took this job to educate students, not to be a referee in a wrestling match. Our legislation puts students ahead of statistics. Mr. Speaker, our teachers answered the call to educate our kids. And our House Republican caucus will ensure they have the support they need to do their job. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.